work, I see a whole world being created. And I think that's what appeals to me, is the idea that this whole universe can be created out of this amazing creative mind. And I just find it so fascinating to be around that kind of creative energy. And that's what appeals to me as a collector. It's not so much the object, it's the creative energy behind it. When I look at these works, uh, I'm first I'm just taken about taken aback by the, the amount of patience and skill that the artist has to have to create these works by hand because they are made by hand. They're they're paintings, um, and then at the same time, um, they're uh, wonderfully flat. I mean, they're they uh, they have a three dimensional quality, but if you see them live. There's still this flatness about them, sort of this boldness about them, sort of like uh, Murakami's work. I'm Martin Irvine, the director of Irvine Contemporary Gallery in Washington, D.C., and we just uh, want to welcome you to viewing the new show by James Marshall, Dalek, uh, one of my favorite people in the whole world. James, I just want to welcome you to Washington. You know, it's uh, it's some it's, white whitewash in there. <laughs> it's uh, I, I know it's been a while since you've been back in D.C. and I, we were yeah. driving around earlier and you were just you know checking things out, and noticing how things have changed, and yeah. it's just great to have you back here. And the the show has just been so great. I mean, what what are your thoughts about being back in D.C. now? I mean, it's nice. It's been nice to to get back to Washington and sort of drive around and see places I haven't seen in years and, and how they've changed. Obviously, uh, 14th and K has seen some, uh, some uh, great, great change over the years. Yes, right. <laughs> it's a lot different than I remember. Um, yes. But no, it's nice. It's good to get back to DC. And uh, you know, I just forget how much of this city I really like. You know, there's just yeah. a lot of great architecture and it's just a great energy here. And it's, it's, uh, it's been enjoyable. And the, the show experience has been really positive And it's just nice. It's been uh, real pleasurable. Yeah, it's been great for us. Everybody's been remarking about uh, this kind of new stylistic leap that you've made. I miss this whole new level of complexity, and yeah. you know, you've you've been making fewer pieces now, but just more and more complex and, and layered. Yeah, uh, it's it's a real breakthrough. What what are your what are your thoughts about you know how you want to continue this this approach? I mean, to be honest, I don't I don't have any thoughts on it in the sense that uh, I just try to let it let it evolve naturally. So I hope that, you know, that the next body of work will sort of be a continuation of, of what this is, but I think in a direction, you know, ideally it evolves in a direction that I, I'm not quite clear on yet, yeah. which is part for me. I'm, I, you know, I enjoy process. I enjoy creating something more than I do a finished product. So it's nice to have an unknown and that's how I like to work. I like, if I knew what I was going to create before I created it, I wouldn't bother making it. Yeah. It's sort of how I feel about it. I, it's just sort of, the process of developing something and what you learn in the process of developing something is, is what's important to me about making art. So yeah. um, ideally that's uh, when I go back in the studio what will happen will be uh, organic and we'll see what the end result is I guess in another six months maybe. Yeah. I remember one time you, you, you told me uh, something that stuck in my head that uh, you use the painting that you're working on to discover how to make the next one. Is that, is that true? Or yeah, I mean, there's usually, I mean, in, in any body of work, there's usually progression from piece to piece because I'll sort of uh, come across one or, or two things, whether it be an element or a color combination or any number of things in one piece, which becomes an idea I want to sort of uh, explore a little further. So I'll take that idea and that's how I'll sort of start the next piece and I'll grow the piece off of that. And then in that piece, inevitably, usually something else happens that I want to explore and, and so it's you know if you look in a body of work you'll see similar color schemes similar iconography but they're trying to sort of take the same ideas and explore them in different manners and, and sort of see you know what can be done you know or how a different element can be treated how it can be used in the forefront in the midground in the background if it's done in blue if it's done in gray if it's done with this if it's done with that and 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 that just helps me sort of I mean, it helps me learn how to paint. Yeah. I mean, it just helps me. And that's what I'm really trying to figure out is how to be a more effective painter and, and use space and use color and all these sort of uh, basic elements to, to create more effective art. So, um, you know, and the best way for me to do that is to sort of explore singular ideas and, uh, and expand upon them. So, that's well, 
the results uh, in this show are really incredible. We're just so uh, we're, we're just so happy and proud to have you here in the show in DC. And nice, uh, thank you. I appreciate so, that. That's a kind lot. of you. Thank you very much. And uh, please come and visit us in in Washington DC. Uh, we'd love to see you all sometime. And uh, thanks for watching this video. And uh, I want to say hi to everybody. Thanks. Yeah.